The Drive with Robin Roz. Weekdays, 4 to 7, Jacaranda FM. And it is Monday, so this Monday mailbag date. Can I get your post list? Read it to us. Right, so we get these mails to drive at jacarandafm.com. People that just have a query or something in their lives that they want to sort out. Today's one is from Gareth. Hey, Robin Roz, I have a problem and no one in my life seems to be able to agree on an answer. Maybe you guys can help. We had new neighbors move in last week. The problem is they have dogs. Our previous neighbors didn't. So the fact that we only have a flimsy little fence between our houses was never an issue. Now our dogs are throwing hands with their dogs. <laughs> every throwing paws it should probably be every chance they get. We're trying to work to close up the fence, but it is really expensive and takes time because we work all day. They are blaming us because our dogs are bigger and also not lifting a finger to do anything about it. What I want to know is whose problem is this? I'm sorry, if your dogs were there first, then that's their yard. You know, if you come in next door and your dogs and my dogs are going to have an argument, I feel like it's your job to do something about it. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, Rob Forbes. Ja. Maar, as die groter honde die probleem is, then surely it's kind of 70% your problem. Mm. But can I tell you why ja. I'm saying this? Because when I still stayed with my granny back in, in Cape Town, I had a little dog called Logan. And Logan passed away because there was there were neighbors that had these huge German shepherds and Logan got through the fence and Logan was no more. So I think I'm coming with with baggage to the situation. Got you. But I think that is in the hand of the means for the greater honde it because if your dog is a bigger dog, it is a bigger part of the problem. I'm just going to throw it out there that the small dogs will be the yappy ones. They'll be starting the nonsense. Okay. As <laughs> Okay. I, I see you. I, you know I what I mean? Yeah. Like, if my dogs have got a yard where they've been for a couple of years mm. and they're happy and they're settled and this is their yard, and then all of a sudden there's another dog next door that wants to shout all the time, I feel like, I mean, is, is that a principle that works? I was here first. Of, <laughs> is my principle in what works? Your hond is groter, sorteer it out. Maybe I, I'm oversimplifying. I feel like if you have the small dogs, you should be the one to sort it out because, as you say, you are nervous about what will happen if they get to the big dogs. Verstaan, maar as jy nou die groot honde het, but en ka- jylle is al daar. Because you can't sit in a situation where, like, now we have to take turns about whose dogs can be outside when. Like, that's ridiculous. We both live here. These are both our homes. Like, the dogs should be able to run around and do dog ja, things. Ja, want het is onrechtvaardig aan die einde van die dag dan vir die honde. Can you teach dogs to make friends? Maybe they just need to be chums. But if they've already started on the back foot, Ty, uh, if I'm a dog now and I really don't like you and you're bigger than me now and you're infringing on my time of being able to go and play in the yard as a dog should be able to do. Yeah, because yeah, it says in the email that we've got a flimsy fence between our houses. So if you've got a chain link fence or yeah. something where the dogs can like not just see each other but get at each other, that's a problem. Andrew say, I agree with Rob. Small dogs instigate and the new neighbors should have done due diligence before moving in. Thank you, Andrew. I'm not going to make myself popular here, but anything under knee height is not a dog. I knee <laughs> Rob. <laughs> my humble opinion, you know. Um, okay, anything under knee height is not a dog. So you are the owner of the big dogs. Then you must make sure that your dogs are not able to No, then I have dogs. You don't have dogs. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, no, oh, oh. no, not going with it. Johan say, your hond is your verantwoordelijkheid. Jij en your beerman besit all twee die honde. As your hond your beerman bite, is it your hond. And as sy hond jou bite, is it sy hond. So he's just saying like... <laughs> Whoever's... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, how would you resolve this? Whose responsibility is it to try and make nice here, to try and fix the issue? The new neighbors or the people who were there? 0848500942. Drop us a quick voice note. We'll check in with them after half past. Listen, we're talking Monday mailbag today. Somebody's had new neighbors move in next door. They say they've got a fence between their properties. They had dogs. The new neighbors arrived with their own small dogs. Mm. And now the dogs are not getting on. And when you say they had dogs, the people who lived there already, hulle honde is groot. Ja. Dit is groot honde. So we're arguing about whose responsibility is it to try and sort out the fact that the dogs are having a fight now 
And it seems like, I mean, you can't be taking turns, you know? Your dogs get to be outside on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And mine get Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Nee, ja, they will half day Sunday. Like, this is as if you're not drunk. Nee, precies. Yard time. <laughs> Exercise minutes. Yes. Nee. Naomi says, Alice, I'll be for an word like for 50% funny ending. Volgens die wet. Where? So there, according to the law. Daar is die wetlike verduideliking daarvan. Ek, ek smal dat oor, because then that's 50% of the responsibility, which we should, I guess, both be claiming. Hi Robin Ross, you can work in the net so I mean, do you know new things? I mean, it's not so moeilijk om so to work, nee, is it? Uh, I don't know. Blake Bot is it? Exactly. It's not always simple. Hi Robin Ross. I say fat the fans weg. <laughs> Hold the yellow fans out, let them in my car out sort of. Nee, and uh as die groot honde eers daar langs aan hulle bezigheid gaan doen, gaan die beerman baie van die gefens opzit, so dat hy nie hoef skoon te maak nie. Annie is in the 300s. In the 300. You know that movie This is Sparta? Yes. Like where you just have to let them fight? That's where she is. Gwibis says it's easy. Remove the fence and let nature take its course. No man! We're not here for biting other dogs. JHD says last in, first out. <laughs> so the people, the new people must sort their stuff I kind of feel like that. Mm. However, I do understand that this is also the house you moved into. You want to use your own yard. Ja, I get that. I get en, that. And I think we get doors now. All the voorstellen van hulle moet het 50% uitwerk. Is die menselijke bieren, the humans, are they not getting along as well? Because this feels like it's not just a let's sort it out 50%. It feels as if we mensen niet ja. rarig oor die weg kom nie. Ja, Werner says the happy dogs mustn't mess with the big dogs. Look at Australia on Saturday. I need. <laughs> I mean, he has a point. Issue. That's a serious comment. Yo, he's yo, absolutely yo. spot on. Uh, Arnu says you're responsible for your safety of your family, and that includes your pets. True. So you've True. got to take steps. So if you're the small dog owners, you must make a plan so that your dogs can't get next door. So Colleen even thinks not even a wall. She says fence out, wall in. Sit the mirror up. Meer is dier, my brie. Dit is dier, en ook, moet jy nie soos beplanning en daai goed, as jy a, additionele meer wil opsit. I know, even if it's a small wall, aren't the rules that you need to get kind of permissions and stuff like that? I imagine the rules do. I don't think it'll hold anyone up. <laughs> <laughs> this is South Africa. Oh, blijkbaar moet die um, eindomsagent het uitsorteer, of die landlord. Fair enough. Ja. Ja. Get, get a mediator. I, th- I think that is a good idea. I think the crux of it for me would be the fact that if I had a peaceful life where my dogs weren't fighting with other dogs all the time, and then suddenly that was my new life, mm. I would be Dick de Watsenormen. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now, look for me. I track now in with my two klein oinkies in a lekker plek in. It's also a new life for me. It's a new start. Now I must be worried because Rob's dogs are rude. Yeah, as I said, anything under knee height is, you know, if you've got a lap dog, keep it on your lap.